Hi, I'm Chris, and today's simple practice will help stretch and soothe the lower back. For today's practice, it's helpful to have a folded, kind of thicker blanket nearby. You'll also benefit from having a strap. Um, if you don't have a yoga strap, you can use a belt, a uh, scarf, get creative, really anything this length will do. So we'll begin, as we always do, coming into our upright, comfortable cross-leg posture. So you're gonna make sure the sit bones are rooted evenly into the floor, crossing at the shins, and slightly flexing the ankles underneath the knees. Notice if the knees are much higher than the hips. This is where you'll sit onto your blanket and bring the hips higher than the knees. From there, you'll slightly tilt the pelvis forward, getting the natural curve of your spine, lengthening up through the crown of the head, widening the collarbones, and softening the shoulders. You can relax the palms onto the knees or the thighs. And then from here, if it's comfortable, gently close down the eyes. Otherwise, just choose one immovable point a few feet in front of you to steady your gaze. And beginning by simply settling into the body, noticing wherever the breath is most prominent. Might be the rise and fall at the belly, on the chest, or even at the nostrils. And then beginning to watch the breath at one of those three points. Whenever you notice the mind has wandered, which we know it will, you'll gently but firmly guide it back to paying attention to the breath. Noticing any unnecessary tension you're holding within. See what you can relax here, especially in the face. Bring your attention to the heart center, taking a moment to set an intention for the practice, choosing one thing you'd like to focus your energy on today. And on your next out breath, letting go of any attachment to this intention with as much ease as you let the breath out of the body. Relaxing the jaw and softening the tongue. Begin to create a quality breath in and out of the nose. With each cycle, lengthening the breath without causing strain. Beginning to work the length of the inhale to match the length of the exhale. And a reminder here that first and foremost, as we begin to move through our practice together, we're gonna to look to maintain this smooth, even, easy breath in and out of the nose. When you're ready, take your time to slowly, gently open the eyes. All right, let's begin laying on the back body. So come to rest gently onto the back of the body, bending the knees, bringing the heels directly underneath them, about hip distance apart. And then take the time to get settled here. First, you'll gently tuck the tailbone under, lengthening it towards the heels, and you're gonna feel the sacrum, or that triangle bone beneath the lower back, sort of flatten and release onto the mat. That should feel good. You also take the time here to ground the shoulders in towards the spine and release them off of the neck. Feeling a slight lift in the chest and broad collarbones. Take a full cycle of breath here. 
And on your next inhale, lengthen the arms up over the head, alongside the ears, breathe deeply into the chest, and as you exhale, bend that right knee, interlacing the fingers along the knee or the shin, as you pull the knee closer towards the chest. Keep the shoulders grounded here, and then extend the left leg along the mat if that feels okay for the lower back. You're gonna press forward through the heel and the ball mounts of the extended leg, almost as if you were standing on it. That's gonna keep an internal rotation here, which will help keep the sacrum wide. You should feel level across the hips, not leaning more towards the right or left side. Gazing towards the knee with your dristi or the steady gaze. Each inhale, feel that expansive quality of the breath, and as you exhale, Gently firm the lower abdominals as you pull the right knee closer in towards the chest. You're gonna to start to feel lengthening in the back. Take a few more cycles of breath here. Cloning the quality breath that you created in the beginning of the practice. And on the next inhale, lengthen that right leg all the way up towards the ceiling, press actively through the heel. Again, relax the face and the shoulders and firm the abdominals. One more inhale, and as you exhale, let the breath carry that right leg forward and down. Continue to actively press through the foot. On your next inhale, lengthen both arms up over the head, breathe deeply into the chest, and as you exhale, bend that left knee in towards the chest again, interlacing the fingers along the shin or the knee. And if it feels comfortable, keeping that right leg extended, pressing actively through the foot. The variation here is if that doesn't feel right on the back, as you always can keep that right knee bent and press actively through the sole of the foot. Wherever you are, again, notice that the sacrum is level on the mat. And then begin to deepen the pose dynamically with the breath. Each time you exhale, Pull the knee gently in towards the chest, compressing the belly, and feel the length that you start creating in the back body. On your next inhale, lengthen that left leg straight up towards the ceiling, straighten the leg by pressing actively up through the heel. Continue to take that internal rotation of the extended leg, soften the upper body. One more inhale, and on that exhale, let the breath carry the left leg forward and down. One more time here as you inhale, lengthen both arms up over the head, breathe deeply into the chest, and exhale, both knees in towards the body. And this time you're gonna grab onto opposite wrists, forearms, or elbows. Again, keeping the shoulders grounded into the mat and off of the neck. Each time you inhale, the breath expands the container of the body, and each time you exhale, pull the belly in towards the back, starting to lengthen the tailbone towards your feet or away from the head. Feel the length along the lower back, keeping the head gently on the mat. You can even gently draw the chin in towards the chest. Remember, the neck is a part of the spine, so you should feel really long from the tailbone all the way up through the crown of your head. One more breath. This time bring the arms out to a T formation with the palms face down, shoulder height. And you're gonna just gently bring the feet onto the mat just so that you can move the hips up off of the mat and then bring them a couple inches towards your right so that you can roll onto this left hip and then inhale here, draw the knees in towards the chest again. And as you exhale, take them over towards the left side, coming in for this reclined spinal twist. My shoulder and my hip are in line. That's why we make that little bit of an adjustment here. And then my shoulders are firmly rooted into the mat. If my shoulders coming up here, what you're gonna to wanna to do is take your blanket and raise the floor. That way, you should be able to ground your shoulders a little bit more evenly. You'll, you can play around with the height here, figure out what you need. And then if you're feeling any um, sensitivity in the knees, keep the feet flexed, but not completely flexed where you can't relax here. So you do want to find a little bit of ease 
of course, in all of these poses, and then keep the knees stacked on one another. From here, if you don't have any sensitivity in your neck, it might feel comfortable to gaze towards the right hand, feeling this gentle neck stretch. And then in these constricted twists, it can be difficult to breathe fully, but make sure that the inhale is nice and full and that you're completing your exhale, which is gonna assist the twist. Take a couple more breaths. On an inhale, bring the chin and the knees back to the center. Release the feet onto the mat, and this time you're gonna swing those hips way over towards the left side, keeping the shoulders where they are. If you're using a blanket, bring it over here, onto the other side. Again, extend the arms out wide. Breathe into the collarbones as you inhale, draw those knees up towards the chest. And as you exhale, gently release them towards the right side. Again, notice the alignment here of hip and shoulder. I'm gonna then maybe gently stretch the neck by gazing towards the left fingers. Or again, you can keep the head it doesn't feel comfortable on the neck, just at center, gazing either towards the tip of the nose or at one immovable point on the ceiling. Feeling the breath inside. Using the exhale to twist from within. When you feel even on both sides, we use an inhale to bring those knees back through the center, release the feet on the floor, bring the hips back in line underneath the shoulders. And then one last time here, draw those knees in towards the chest and give yourself a squeeze here. You'll then gently roll onto the right side, pressing into the palms, coming into table pose on the hands and the knees. You're gonna move that out of the way. You're gonna spread the fingers out nice and wide so you can see the V's between them. Stack the wrists underneath the shoulders and the knees directly under the hips. And then instead of letting gravity dump you down here, find a lift through the fingers, tops of the shins and the ankles. You're gonna gently pull the belly up engaging the abdominals and start to lengthen the tailbone behind you as you start lengthening the chest and the crown of the head in front of you. So again, extending the spine, keeping the lower back nice and open here. And on the next inhale, draw the tailbone towards the ceiling, soften the belly towards the mat and lengthen the chest forward through the gate of the arms, feel wide collarbones, gaze ahead. As you exhale, tuck the tailbone under, round the back as you press the mat away from you and draw the chin in towards the chest. Moving through these cat cows. When you inhale, this pose is cow. And when you exhale, rounding the back, pressing the mat away from you, this pose is cat. Let your breath lead you through these movements. Notice any tendency to want to speed up the movement here. Slow it down. And again, continue to pay attention to what it is you are doing. Finish the one that you're on. And the next time you exhale, pull the belly in, bring the big toes together. Separate the knees as wide as your yoga mat and sink those hips towards the heels. Continue to extend the palms forward and release the forehead onto the mat. Begin to breathe into the back of the body, especially the lower back. Each exhale, just notice what you can soften.
On an inhale, you're going to gently come back onto the hands and knees, and then step the right foot through, tuck the back toe, and step the left foot through. You're going to bring the feet directly underneath the hips, rooting actively through the inner outer ball mount and the heel, and taking a generous bend in the knees so much that you let the belly rest onto the thighs. At this point, you're going to completely surrender the upper body down towards the floor, but continue to stay actively engaged through the feet and the legs here. So we're removing the hamstring stretch, definitely feeling this in the lower back. Go ahead and make little fists and then bring those fists into opposite elbow creases. Completely hang down here. And then again, pay attention to the quality breath. Each time you exhale, notice what you can soften. If gentle swaying feels good, really begin to listen to what your body needs. Releasing any unnecessary tension, especially in the face. Now, some of you might be flexible enough that you can begin to straighten the legs, actively pressing down through the ball mounts and the heels. But just be mindful that instead of rounding the upper back, you're finding length as you draw the chest forward towards the toes, but still not holding any tension in the neck here. keeping the hips over the heels, which might actually mean gently rocking your weight a little bit more forward into the ball mounts. Final full breath, letting this exhale release anything you're still holding on to. Inhale, release the arms, bringing the palms onto the floor, and even if that means bending the knees. You're gonna to begin to heel to walk the feet as wide as your yoga mat, but bring the heels in. You're gonna then sink the hips down, getting this nice juicy hip stretch here in Malasana. But for this variation, instead of bringing the body up, we're gonna stay low, but find extension in the spine here, almost like you would in a down dog, start walking those hands forward Stay active through those palms. As you press down through the finger padding, inhale, lengthen the chest. And as you exhale, sink the tailbone towards the feet. Stay nice and active through the ball mounts and heels. And then just find a little bit of release again in the lower back. So again, notice we're not kind of rounding in here. Fine length. And then also, if you notice that your heels can't rest on the floor because you have tight hips, this is a good variation where you just bring your blanket, excuse me, and raise, whoop, raise the floor. And then again, come into it. Wherever you are, breathe into where you feel the stretch most. And then on the next inhale, start walking those hands back towards the body. Bring one behind you and then end up on your sit bones. You're going to extend the legs in front of you. Coming into staff pose, find that internal rotation of the thighs here. And then make sure the knees are pointing directly up towards the ceiling. The ankles are going to touch. And again, you're going to press forward through the heels and the ball mounts. You can even spread your toes here. Can't wait for summer. Flip flops. And then again, if you need a little bit of height here, similar to when we begin in Sukhasana or that easy pose, because it's really hard for you to find a lift up, it's totally normal. And you're gonna just come and sit onto the edge of a blanket here. So take the time, instead of sort of forcing or struggling in a pose, Give yourself the support you need. So wherever you are, you're gonna lengthen up out of the waist. Take a full breath here. And imagine someone 
pulling you like a puppet right up through a string attached to the crown of your head, finding even more length in the spine. Okay? You'll notice that slight internal rotation of the thighs keeps that lower back nice and wide. And then we're going to come into a forward fold. So I'm going to also bring this strap in case, again, you're a little bit tight in the hamstrings and the low back. This might be a little difficult to reach the toes. So wherever you are, lengthen up. And as you exhale, start leading with the belly towards the chest rather than just trying to get the head down and rounding the back. So take your time here, not in a hurry. Begin to walk those hands forward. Lengthen the fingertips past the toes, even if they don't come past the toes. Imagine them growing past the toes. Reach, find all this stretch and length in the low back. And then eventually you're either going to grab onto the big toes, the feet, the ankles, wherever you want to hold on to. Or again, if that doesn't work for you, you can bring a strap onto the ball mounts and move from here. Okay? Wherever you are, you're finding lift and length up through the chest, wide collarbones. Continue to ground the thighs and legs down towards the floor and ground those sit bones into whatever you're sitting on. Inhale here, and as you exhale, start bending the elbows out to the side, guiding the belly and the chest closer towards the legs. Relax the neck, find your steady gaze or dristi. Wandering eyes means wandering mind. Starting to feel more length in the lower back here. Anytime you notice that those sit bones start coming off of the mat, root them down. Take three more breaths wherever you are in the pose. You can even actively send the breath to the lower back. Final full breath. Remember, we're not forcing these stretches. Let it happen naturally. And then on your next inhale, lead with your chest and lift the body up. Hmm. All right. From here, we're going to bend the knees. If you are sitting on a blanket, come off of it now. We're going to find ourselves onto the back body. Getting ready for our final resting pose. And this is a really nice variation um, we're gonna do now. And if you are taking classes locally, um, like group classes, and you come into Shavasana, and that pose ends up hurting the lower back, or you feel like, how am I supposed to relax in this pose when my lower back is just not comfortable? This is a really nice tip. You can, if you have a blanket available in the class, you can just roll it up and place it behind the knees. Or just take an extra yoga mat and put the yoga mat underneath your knees. Wherever you are, I'm going to go ahead, slightly tuck that tailbone under again. And then lower yourself all the way down. Now that we have our blanket set up, we're going to take one last pose. Happy baby. Bend the knees back in towards the chest, but this time open up the knees towards the shoulders, flex the feet up towards the ceiling, and then bring your arms inside the legs, grabbing on for opposite ankles or even the outside of the feet. Okay. So the inner arms gently press into the shins. You're going to continue to press those feet up towards the ceiling. Feeling your entire lower back relax onto the mat. As you press into the feet, draw those knees down towards the floor. Again, draw the shoulder blades off the neck and lift the heart, feeling open in the front body. Oh, how good this feels in the hips, the lower back. And take at least a few breaths here.
can even gently close down the eyes. Following the breath inside. See if you can keep the shoulders relaxed into the mat. Taking one more full breath, lengthen the tailbone away from the head. And then inhale, bring those knees back in towards the chest for one final squeeze. And then lengthen the legs back onto the little support you created with your blanket or yoga mat. Retuck the tailbone under. Peel the arms away from the side body. Bring the palms to face up towards the ceiling. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, open the mouth and let out the breath. Let's do that two more times. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. One more time on your own. And this time completely let go of the breath, letting it return to its natural rhythm. Beginning to watch the gentle rise and fall of the breath on the belly. Letting each exhale be the reminder to release anything you're still holding on to. Tension in the body, tension in the mind. As you start to feel the body get heavy, fully supported by the earth beneath you, give yourself this time to completely let go. Give yourself these last few moments to enjoy the peace you've created through your practice. With attention to the low back, notice how it feels to be here now. And remembering you can always return to this place of peace, the steadiness within you, simply by slowing down and consciously connecting to your breath.